Hello everyone. Welcome back to Recap. I'm Christina. Today, I'm going to talk about the science fiction action film called Surrogates. In the near future, the widespread use of remotely controlled androids called surrogates enables everyone to live in idealized forms from the safety of their homes. Their surrogates live their lives for them. Crime rates plummet and societal living improves as racism and hate dwindle. The inventor of surrogates said that physically disabled people will be able to operate fully synthetic bodies. In Boston, FBI agent Tom Greer has been estranged from his wife Maggie since they are sent dead in a car crash several years before. He never see her outside of her surrogate and she criticizes his desire to interact via their real bodies. Tom's surrogate and his co-worker agent Jennifer Peters' surrogate investigate the death of two people who were killed when their surrogate was destroyed at a four-point club. Sarah Cantor, one of the victims, is the son of Dr. Lionel Cantor, the inventor of surrogates and the former head of their manufacturing company, VSI. The two determine that a human, Mike Strickland, used a new type of weapon to overload the surrogate systems and kill their operators. After locating Mike Strickland, Tom attempts to bring him into custody. Mike Strickland uses the weapon and injures Tom during the chase. Tom inadvertently crash lands into an anti-surrogate zone known as the Dread Reservation, one of many throughout the U.S. A mob helps Mike Strickland and destroys Tom's surrogates. The Dread leader, a man known as the Prophet, kills Mike Strickland and confiscates the weapon. After Tom's surrogate has been damaged, he is forced to interact in the war without one. He learns that VSI originally produced a weapon designed to load a virus that overloads the surrogate systems, thus disabling it under a government contract. Unexpectedly, the weapon also disabled the face-safe protocols protecting the surrogate operators. The project was promptly scrapped and all prototypes supposedly destroyed. Tom also learns that Andrew Stroh, his FBI superior supplying the weapon to mines and ordered Dr. Lionel Cantor's assassination upon VSI requests for his criticism of surrogate use. Agent Jennifer Peters is murdered in her own home by an animal man who hijacks her surrogate and the prophet orders the weapon delivered to her. During a military raid on the reservation, the prophet is shot, revealing he was actually a surrogate with Dr. Kander himself as the operator. Tom then heads into the station to confront it Andrew about what he had found. Tom asks Andrew what motivated him to have Dr. Kander killed. Tom theorizes that VSI handed Andrew the weapon. Andrew hired Miles to kill Dr. Kander. But Miles accidentally ends up killing his son, Jared Cantor. As Andrew looks away, Tom stabs the surrogate at the back of the head, shorting it out. He then hacks into Andrew's computer and downloads everything that had any relation to VSI and Miles. He then meets with his co-worker Jennifer Peters' surrogate and they drive out. Tom then finds the codes necessary to activate the weapon. Peters then calls the station, telling them of Tom's whereabouts. At that moment, a truck hits them, and the car gets thrown. Peters walks away with the weapon. Back, Tom decides to pursue Peters, trying to run her over. The pair end up going through busy streets, running over surrogates and smashing into other cars. Tom ends up crashing into a store window, and Peters gets away. Tom hides from the pursuing FBI agents and steals a car. He immediately goes to Dr. Kander's home and discovers that Kander has been controlling not only the prophet's surrogate, but also Peter's surrogate and the surrogate he used to kill Peter as well. Using Peter's surrogate in FBI headquarters, Dr. Kander uses the weapon to kill Andrew and proceed to upload the virus to all surrogates which were destroying them and kill their operators. Then, Dr. Kenner disconnects from Peter's surrogate and then he talks with Tom. He reveals that he only wanted to empower the disabled to live normal lives, but 
after he was fired from VSI, they capitalized on surrogacy for profit. And he say his plan is unstoppable, and swallows a cyanide pill. Tom takes control of Peter's surrogate and with the assistance of the Nawa system administrator Bobby Saunders, insulate the virus so the surrogate's operators will survive. But a second step is required to save the surrogates. After a moment of consideration, Tom chooses to let the virus permanently disable surrogates worldwide. With all the surrogates disabled, people emerge from their homes confused and afraid. Returning home, Tom shares an emotional heart with the real form of his wife Maggie. The film ends with an area view of the collapsed surrogates along with overlapping news reports of doubt surrogates all over the world and how people are now on their own again. Thank you so much for watching. Please click on the red subscribe button and press the bell icon. That will, you will know every time a new video is uploaded. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.